Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. So we have four piles of cards to choose from here. We're going to be talking about whether your connection with your person of interest is real or an illusion. Specifically, if you feel like you're involved in a soulmate, twin flame, or karmic connection, um, this will hopefully give you some insight into whether your um, intuition, what you feel you're experiencing, is the truth or if it's just in your head. Um, this is a topic that's been requested a few times, and um, I thought it would be interesting to look into. So, <clears throat> we have pile one, two, three, and four. For pile number one, I have this piece of aura quartz. For pile two, we have amethyst. Pile number three is selenite. And pile four is rose quartz. So, the timestamps will be in the comment section as usual. All of my links are going to be in the description. If you're interested in checking those out, I do offer personal readings. You can order through my website or my Etsy store. The links will be down below. You can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram at Serpentine Daughter. So, with all of that said, we are just going to jump right into this with group number one. Okay, so group one, let's see what cards you guys have. We'll start at the bottom. So your oracle cards, the first thing we have here is weight. We have reconciliation. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Only time will tell. Let go of control issues. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be healed. Message in a bottle in the reverse position. And serendipity. Your tarot cards, we have the Lord. This is the Emperor in more um, standard decks. We have the Ace of Cups. We've got Ace of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Okay. So, so um, group one, the first thing that I'm getting here, I'm seeing a, a, a bit of a theme pertaining to waiting, patience, and rest. The wait card, fairly self-explanatory, only time will tell. This card um, <clears throat> obviously is relating to time, the progression of time. Um, this card, Deep Replenishment, it says retreat, rest, be held. This is um, quite similar to the Four of Swords energy. The Four of Swords, it, it says on the top, rest as well. Um, the Four of Swords is about withdrawal. A lot of times it represents someone going within in order to, you know, do some reflection or introspection on something. Um, it does have an energy of healing in that respect. It's it's a lot of times about hitting pause on a situation. Um, so we have three cards here, four cards, four cards that are talking to me about time, waiting, and rest. Um, I get the impression right now that you and the person you're thinking about this connection seems to be, I mean, it's, it seems like it's already been put on hold for the most part. Um, I, I just have this feeling like there's probably not a lot really going on between you and this person right now. Um, I mean, the reconciliation card is showing up here. You know, obviously this <laughs> implies that uh, there's going to be a reconciliation in this situation, but in order for there to be a reconciliation, in order for you to come back together with somebody, you have to separate from them first. And so, you know, I, I'm feeling like there has been a separation of some kind, like you have little or maybe even no contact from this person right now. 
but I can feel that you, you're, you're wanting a fresh start. You're wanting a new beginning here because we have these two aces and aces are all about new beginnings. Um, the ace of cups in particular cups relate to love, emotions, relationships. So a lot of times this card can represent, um, the start of a brand new relationship, a new beginning within an old one. Um, it can also represent new feelings beginning to blossom. Um, and the ace of swords, this is a much more, um, intellectual, uh, logical kind of energy. Swords relate to communication, honesty, insight, um, the Ace of Swords in particular can represent new ideas as well as, and, and also um, messages, messages coming through communication, like I said. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm definitely seeing a strong desire for some kind of new beginning here. This is a situation that seems to have been put on pause, put on hold. And I get the sense, I almost get kind of an antsy feeling from you guys like like you're growing impatient with this connection like you are eager for some change eager for some kind of movement some kind of action to happen here um <clears throat> and uh you know don't take this the wrong way group one but i also get honestly a bit of a stubborn energy from you guys as well um, I mean, you know, the energies in this situation could be switched. Um, that's always a possibility in these general readings. Um, there is the potential that your, um, the, the energy of your person that I'm seeing here actually is your energy and that the energy that I'm seeing as you, the viewers, is actually your person's. Um, that's always a possibility in these general readings. So um, if this, if what I'm talking about doesn't really sound like what you're going through right now, then it's very possible that this is how your person is feeling. Okay, so just, just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> the roles could be switched. But anyway, I, like I was saying, I, I get a little bit of a stubborn kind of energy um, even, and I feel like I feel like you guys have been communicating a lot with your guides, or you've been attempting to. Um, I feel like you guys have probably been doing a lot of, um, maybe you've been watching a lot of readings, a lot of pick a cards, maybe you've been trying to do some of your own readings on this situation. And I get the impression that, you know, a lot of you, you have this knowing, this intuitive feeling that this is something that is going to come together. Like you have this feeling that there will be a reconciliation with this person. And like, this is something that you just, you feel it to be true. Okay. I, I definitely get the sense that there is um, a significant connection between you and this person. So I, I don't think that this is all in your head. Okay. This certainly seems to be real there is you know a soul level attachment that you are sharing with this person um the serendipity card this is really about divine guidance this is um fate destiny this is saying you know what's happening is happening for a reason okay and um actually this other card um message in a bottle this a lot of times is Obviously, it, it relates to communication as well, um, but it can also represent communication like from spirit, from the universe itself, um, you know, receiving signs, synchronicities. This card a lot of times represents that type of thing. Um, in the reverse position, however, it can indicate that you may be um, ignoring certain signs that you're being given or that you may just be missing them completely which is kind of interesting because, like I said, I feel that you, most of you are really in touch with your intuition and you have been communicating a lot with spirit and, you know, trying to figure out more about this situation, more about this connection and what, what's going to happen with it. Um, and, and that you, a, a lot of you are 
seeing signs, synchronicities, repeating numbers. You're seeing things on a regular basis that remind you of this person that, that you know, it's, it's like they are constantly being shoved into your face by the universe. Like, I, I feel like that's probably how a lot of you feel right now. Um, and that can be kind of frustrating. That can be very frustrating, actually, especially if you are in separation from this person. But um, I'm getting that there's a need for patience here. And that's probably not something that you guys want to hear. But um, I get the sense that spirit has been trying to instill some patience within you. Like they've been asking you to slow down. Don't get ahead of yourself here. Give it some time. We have this card, let go of control issues. Um, this is pretty straightforward. It says, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, um, you know, if you have been making efforts to reconnect with this person, I, I feel like a lot of you probably um, have not been trying to contact them directly, but I feel like a number of you have probably been trying to, you know, manifest this person back into your life. Maybe you've been trying to connect with them energetically, like in the 5D, and uh, like, you know, in, in attempts to kind of push them back in your direction or, you know, reel them back in. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? And the Lord card here, this is about authority, control. Um, I, I get the sense that a lot of you are trying to take the reins in this situation. Like you're you're trying to exert some some level of control over this other person, and you know, b before you um, before you say that that's wrong, that you're you're not trying to control this situation, um, think about you know if if you are trying to connect with them in the five D, if you are you know, making efforts to pull them back in, if you're, if you're trying to influence them in any way to communicate with you again, to come back towards you, you are trying to control the situation, okay? And there's nothing um, inherently wrong with that. But in this case, I get these, I, I get the sense that, um, you guys are in separation right now for a reason. You know, going back to that serendipity card, what's happening right now is happening for a specific purpose. It's happening for a specific reason. And um, it's, it's like this connection has been put on hold currently because I feel like there's something that someone needs to be healing from, something that someone needs to be releasing, letting go of. Um, with this being, you know, a soul level connection, um, specifically, I, I get the sense that this could potentially be a twin flame situation, um, or there, I mean, whatever the case, there does seem to be some level of, um, some karma that exists between the two of you. I mean, you know, most, um, soulmates that we encounter, we do have some karma with that person just by virtue of having known them in previous lifetimes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and I feel like you and this person, you know, you have some shared karma between you that needs to be cleared before things can really start progressing further. And also, I mean, you have things, lessons that you guys need to learn individually as well. Um, this card, New Moon in Aquarius, this is, um, <laughs> this is a lot of times a message that you may need to emotionally detach from a situation. Um, Aquarius is air energy, air energy being, you know, very intellectual, very logical. Um, a lot of times air, swords, you know, those cards indicate to me some degree of emotional detachment or emotional unavailability. Um, 
just taking a very, you know, rational perspective on something, not allowing your feelings to color your interpretation of what's going on or to um, allow your feelings to control how you're handling a situation. Do you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, it's very difficult to detach from something like this emotionally because clearly you have a really strong connection to this person. Clearly you have, I, I feel, a lot of love for this person and you want for this person to be part of your life. And, you know, you, you may have other things, other hopes, goals for this relationship as well. You know, maybe you want this person to be your life partner. Maybe you, uh, you know, whatever the case, um, you have desired outcomes for this relationship. You have certain things that you want to have happen between the two of you. And it can be really hard to detach from those desired outcomes um, because when we uh, when we get an idea in our head of what we want to happen, particularly in our relationships, you know, we, for example, decide, I want to be with this person. This is the person that I'm choosing to be with. And then it doesn't work out or maybe you never even get an opportunity to be with that person at all. That's hard. Because more than likely you've developed an emotional attachment to that desire, you know? But here spirit is asking you, you have to let go of this because there are things that both of you need to do on your own before this reconciliation can occur. Um, I really feel that this reunion is something that may take quite some time to occur. I mean, ultimately, it's going to be dependent on just, you know, how much work the two of you are willing to do and how quickly you're going to be, you're, you're able to get it done. Um, so, you know, it's, it's hard to estimate a time frame for when this reconciliation will actually happen uh, on top of the fact that this is just a general reading. So it's going to be different for all of you anyway. But um, <sighs> Spirit is asking you to let it go. And you might be thinking, well, then why are they, why, why is, why am I still seeing all these signs and synchronicities? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, I feel like the signs and the synchronicities are supposed to be reminders. They're supposed to give you some encouragement that, um, you know, this, you're right about this. This is not all in your head. This is something that is meant to happen, but I feel like spirit is also trying to show you signs that even though this is something that's meant to happen, it's, it's not going to happen right now. And they're asking you to have patience here. You've got to detach. This connection is undergoing a period of rest, a period of restoration. Both of you have work that you can be doing in the meantime. Um, and, and really this work is necessary because in order for you guys to have this reunion, you both have to be in alignment with each other energetically. So you both have to have, you know, made similar like amounts of progress along your your individual journeys. Um, you know, soulmate and, and twin flame relationships, they um, obviously, these people, these connections, they play a huge role in our lives. And the, the union at the end of the journey is beautiful. You know, that's, that's a goal to be working towards. But the, the majority of these journeys actually 
you know, most of the time we, we have to, we have to travel them alone. Much of this path is going to be traveled by yourself. And that's just the way it is. You know, that's typical. That's very typical of this kind of thing. So, um, yeah, they're, they're asking you to please be patient. Let go of any desires that you may have to influence this person, to, you know, pull them back towards you before they are in alignment with you. Because if you come back together before you're meant to, like before the time is right, it's just going to result in another separation. You know the in and out, push pull kind of energy that is present in a lot of like high level soul connections? That's why that exists because people, you know, people come back together, they reconnect before they're really ready to. And so they, you know, you, you end up in this cycle of union separation, union separation. And that's hard. That's very difficult on a person, like just emotionally, but also spiritually as well. Um, this is a, this is a, a, a lifelong, this is, this is a lifelong journey here. This is a, a connection that's going to be relevant, like, for years to come, you know? There is going to be a reconciliation here, but I'm just, I'm just seeing that, and, and I know this is probably hard to hear for some of you, but they're saying you just have to accept that you may not get what you want with this person. You just have to accept that there may be a different outcome. The outcome that does occur may end up being even better than the thing that you want to have happen. And you have no, you have no idea. You have no idea what the potential is between you and this person. I mean, the potential is so much greater than anything you're th even imagining. It's just... It's just not going to be what you're thinking. Does that make sense? I hope that makes some sense. Um, so uh, group one, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated with you. Um, this is not in your head. This is a real connection that you're experiencing. So, you know, don't, don't feel like you're crazy. Okay. Um, Thanks you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, this is just a general reading, so take what applies to you, leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. I am wishing you all the best, and I hope that I see you next time. Bye! Okay, group number two, let's find out if this connection is real or if it is an illusion, if it is all in your head. So, let's see what cards you guys have here. First of all, we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen, love conquers, and transforms all things. Next, we have to the sea. It is in the reverse position. We have Surrender to the Divine, the Full Moon card. Big Happy Changes. Romantic Feelings. Heart to Heart Conversations. And the Ever Unfolding Rose. Cracked Open, it's happening for you, not to you. And your tarot cards are we have the Two of Swords, we have Three of Cups, Temperance, and the Lovers. So, 
Group two, is this connection real or is it an illusion? Okay, so um, immediately I am getting this message that um, there is a higher purpose to this connection that you're thinking about. Um, this is something that is being divinely guided. I mean, we have this card here, Surrender to the Divine. We have this card. It's happening for you, not to you. This is implying to me that something about this particular connection, it is serving a higher purpose in your life. Um, it is meant to help you grow. There is something transformative about this relationship that you're um, thinking of. And um, the lover's card, this is considered to be one of the soulmate cards. Um, this is two people who are in alignment with each other. This is two people who are strongly connected to one another. Um, this is balance within a relationship. The three of cups is another one of the soulmate cards. Um, this is indicative of very strong bonds or attachments between people. And temperance also comes up sometimes in soulmate situations. Um, this is about patience, healing, um, renewal, restoration, that kind of energy uh, comes up with the temperance card. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling that there is, like I said, definitely a higher purpose to this whole thing. And um, <clears throat> what you're going through with this person, I feel, I, I feel that things have not always been easy between the two of you. I feel like there's a big um, karmic element to this. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean that this is strictly a karmic relationship. In fact, I don't really feel like that's the case. I feel like um, this is more than just that. Uh, but, you know, most like twin flames and soulmates, you know, you're going to have some karma that exists between the two of you just by virtue of having known each other in previous lifetimes. Um, that's pretty typical, I feel. But, um, there is some karma that exists between the two of you, and I feel like that is probably why things have not always been easy for the two of you. You know, you, um, I mean, this is supposed to be something to help you become better versions of yourself. This is, like I said, a transformative connection. This is meant to result in revolution, a higher level of conscious awareness. You know, you're, you're supposed to gain a lot of wisdom and insight from this about yourself, but also just the universe as a whole. Okay. Um, anyway, this two of swords, this is indecision, uncertainty. It can also represent feeling trapped or stuck. Like you don't know the way forward in a situation. This girl here, her, she's, she's blindfolded. So, you know, obviously she can't see a way out of this predicament that she's in. And um, I feel like a lot of you are probably feeling like you are this person. You are, you know, you, you can't see a way forward. You feel like you're trapped. You feel like you're being plagued by this connection almost um, in, in some ways. I mean, I, I feel like... I feel like for a number of you guys, this connection is something that is, in a lot of ways, really beautiful and something that you appreciate a lot. But in other respects, sometimes it feels like, almost like a curse. Sometimes it feels like something that you wish you could just get rid of. And, you know, I, I can kind of relate to that. Um, okay. Um, actually, this energy is a little bit similar to group one. However, um, with group one, it seemed like there was a separation going on. Um, I don't really get that feeling with this group. You know, it's, it's not, not to say that you can't be in separation from this person right now, but it just feels like for the majority of you, this seems like a situation where you do have contact with each other. Um, you, honestly, it feels like some of you may actually be in a relationship with this person, like in a exclusive, you know, committed even relationship. Um, and it, it just feels like things have been difficult. 
things have been difficult. Like there's been a lot of ups and downs here. There's been a lot of um, conflict, but also a lot of really beautiful moments. Um, the three of cups. I mean, I, I feel like you and this person are just connected at such a deep level. And I actually feel like some of the issues that you maybe have experienced has been the result of past lifetimes. Like there are things that have happened between the two of you in previous lives that are still playing a role in this life, in, in your relationship now. And that's interesting. Um, we also have this card. This is to the sea reversed. Um, in the reverse position, this card is really about surrender. It's about just going with the flow, you know, rolling with the punches. <laughs> um, very similar to this card. And um, what I'm getting here is there's a lot of love between you and this person. There are... And, and there's so much potential for this to be a really beautiful, really stable, and really loving relationship. Now, obviously, um, I feel like I need to say this, but obviously if there's been actual, like, abuse in this relationship, like if this person has been abusive towards you in any way, or, you know, real manipulative, or just, like, straight up toxic, um, then this is probably not your reading because the energy that I'm feeling here, this is pure, this is genuine, okay? And someone who genuinely loves and respects you is not going to be abusive towards you. They might think that they genuinely love and respect you, but they don't truly, okay? So if anything like that has gone on between the two of you, hit the bricks, okay? Um, you need to cut this person off however you can. Um, but if that is not something that has gone on in this connection, if it's just, you know, if, if it's just been, I, I feel like for a lot of you, it's just been like one thing after another. Like a, a lot of, um, I'm getting a lot of issues perhaps stemming from like mental health, like maybe one of you is struggling a lot with your mental health. Um, or, you know, somebody here I feel maybe has had quite a traumatic past, or maybe both of you, and you're still, you know, trying to work through that stuff and process and heal from it. And it's creating some turbulence within this relationship. Um, and for some of you, there could also be some external factors as well money problems, um, issues with family, things along those lines. So, you know, just, just a lot of ups and downs. And um, I feel at times there have been communication breakdowns, you know, heart to heart conversations. This is about communication. This is about openness and honesty with one another. That is really critical in this uh, relationship. And you, I'm sure you know that already, but um, they're really emphasizing that you have got to be open with this person and they have got to be open with you. You've got to find ways to effectively communicate with each other, even when you're angry, even when you're upset or sad, you know, you have to be able to talk about what's going on, talk about problems before they snowball into even bigger issues. And I really feel like some of you at times, you might feel like, you know, why is this happening to us? Like, I really love this person and I really want to be with this person, but it seems like everything, it, it seems like the world is against us. If you've ever felt like that, I want to say it's not true. The world is not against you. The things, the, the setbacks that have arisen in this relationship are not serving to break you apart. They're serving to strengthen this connection and they're serving to clear away all of the old, all of the negative energy karma that you guys have accumulated together. Um, and, and it's also serving to help you guys to grow together. This really doesn't feel like a twin flame connection. It feels more like just a, a soulmate relationship with a lot of karmic 
things involved, um, which is why it's had its ups and downs. But, um, yeah, this is, this is something that if you stick to this connection, you know, if, if you and this person can mutually agree that, you know, this is something that you want, that this is something you're going to commit to, that, you know, you're, you're going to get through this together, then you will. We have big happy changes here. This is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Things are not always going to be the way that they are now. Okay. And also temperance. Like I said earlier, this is about healing and renewal. There is a new beginning on the horizon for this connection if you can get there. And, you know, I, I also want to say that um, if you, let's see, how do I want to put this? If this is a relationship that has, that, that creates more negativity in your life than positivity, for example, like if your love for this person is overshadowed by negative emotions, hard feelings, um, if the joy that this relationship brings you is overshadowed by the grief or the stress, don't feel like you can't walk away from this. Because you can if you choose to do that. And, you know, really, if a relationship is more of a negative draining force than a positive one in your life, you know, you have every right to pull back from that. Um, so, you know, don't, don't feel like you're stuck with this relationship just because this person is your soulmate. You have free will. You have the choice. Of whether or not you stick with this connection you know what I'm saying so um, just keep that in mind too it's 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 very important that you remember that choice that you have that power to make that decision for yourself you know at the end of the day we write our own destinies um, so group two that is really all that I'm getting for you guys um, this connection is real. This is not something that's just in your head. This is not an illusion. There is a real soulmate connection going on here. You have known each other before. You've, I feel, shared a pretty significant number of past lives together. And there's also a lot of love here. And there's potential for this to become a really beautiful, stable, secure an abundant relationship okay you're just I feel like right now a lot of you are just going through some trials together okay so um, I think that's gonna do it for you guys group two I hope that this reading resonated with you I hope that it was interesting at least and um, you know this is just general so take what applies to you leave the rest behind if something doesn't fit don't try to make it fit and um, Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I am wishing you guys all the best and I hope I see you next time. Bye. Okay, group number three. Let's find out if this connection that you're thinking of is real or an illusion. So your oracle cards. The first one that we have here says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Interesting. Next we have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. We have the retreat card. It's time to disconnect from the world. We have, New moon eclipse, expect powerful change. We have the reconsider card. We have orphaned. And your tarot cards, we have the two of pentacles reversed. 
Five of Swords, Four of Wands reversed, and the Hierophant. So, okay, give me a second to look over these cards, guys. So, um, <clears throat> the first thing that I want to talk about here is actually this Hierophant card. So the Hierophant is a card that relates to order, stability, tradition, convention. Um, the Hierophant is a teacher or mentor figure. Um, so, you know, a lot of times, like in the context of a relationship reading, um, it can represent, well, it, it can represent marriage and commitment, but it can also indicate that a relationship has something to teach you, that you're supposed to learn something from you know, a particular person or a particular relationship. And um, the Hierophant is, in a lot of ways, a very spiritual figure as well. Um, the Hierophant has a real strong association with, like, religion. Um, so I do get the sense that there is something, you know, there there is a spiritual aspect to this connection. I do feel that there's something you're supposed to learn from this connection. I feel like this whole this whole thing with this person that you're thinking of is meant to teach you something to help you grow as a human being um this card you may not always understand why certain things happen but there is always a higher purpose this um is kind of building upon that idea that there's there's something to be learned from this connection um, I, I do get the sense that there has probably been a separation from this person, um, or things perhaps are on track towards separation. I just, you know, I, I just have this feeling that things are not going great between the two of you. Um, I mean, we do have this orphaned card here. This is about loss, loneliness, abandonment, um, grief as well. And we have the retreat card. It's time to disconnect. So, you know, this um, this implies to me that you and this person maybe have retreated from one another. Um, or, you know, somebody in this equation has pulled back. And I get the impression that you, the person watching this, um, you may be feeling that this is potentially a twin flame connection. We do have the Four of Wands here, um, which the Four of Wands is considered to be the twin flame card. This is, you know, alignment. This is unity, celebration. Um, in the reverse, though, the Four of Wands indicates to me some kind of disconnect. It indicates, you know, disharmony, a lack of unity. And with this being here, you know, in, in addition to the reconsider card, which is fairly straightforward. You know, this card is usually a message to reconsider whatever it is that you're thinking about. You know, you may need to go back, reevaluate. Um, I feel like, you know, if, if you are thinking that this is your twin flame, um, I, I unfortunately don't really feel like that's the case. Um, or, you know, even if you're not specifically thinking that this person is your twin flame, maybe you're just thinking that, you know, this is something, let's see, how do I want to say this? I, I get this feeling like you may be looking at this connection as something that's meant to be, something that is supposed to happen. Like, you're supposed to be with this person, but I'm afraid that, I'm afraid you may be looking too much into it. Because this card, the, the part of this that's really standing out to me is this phrase, stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. And then we have this Five of Swords, which relates to disappointment, and it relates to defeat. And um, it can also indicate, um, like, taking what you want, getting what you want by any means necessary. Um, a, a hollow kind of victory. 
achieving a goal, getting something that you wanted, but it doesn't turn out to be what you thought it was going to be. It turns out to be a disappointment. It, it feels like there's a big imbalance between you and this person. Um, Two of Pentacles reversed. This is, you know, in general, this card is like trying to find a balance or trying to maintain a balance in a situation in the reverse position. It's an, an imbalance. It's, it's feeling very overwhelmed, trying to juggle multiple things. Um, this card can also, when it is reversed, it can also be a warning that um, you, you may need to reevaluate a situation. Kind of similar actually to the reconsider card that you might need to reevaluate a situation and um, take a new approach to it. So I'm I'm just seeing a lot of energy here of things not being what they might seem. Okay. I do feel that you have an important connection to this person, but I feel that it may not be what you think it is. Does that make sense? I feel like I feel like the main purpose of your relationship to this person is, you know, going back to these two cards, I feel like the main purpose of it has been to teach you something. I get a lot of karmic energy here. Um, this really seems like a karmic relationship to me. Um, I... Sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to... Um, Make sure that I'm, 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 I have all the information here before I start saying too much. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this this really feels like a karmic connection, and you know the the whole purpose of a karmic relationship is to teach you a karmic lesson, um, to help you, you know, heal from some kind of old wound that you may be carrying around with you, to help you clear away the karma that you have accumulated in this lifetime, but also in previous lifetimes. And, um, you know, we do have some karma with pretty much every soulmate, you know, that, that we encounter um, in our lives, but karmic relationships specifically, in a sense, they are soul connections. But these relationships, you know, the whole point is to teach us a specific lesson. And then once that lesson has been learned or once you're, you know, put on the path to figuring that thing out, um, then usually the relationship, you know, that's, it's run its course. Um, usually you end up going your separate ways. Um, and I, I kind of feel like that's already happened in this case. Like there's, you know, going back to this retreat card and orphaned, like, there's already been a separation. Like, this person has already moved forward from this relationship. And um, I just get the sense that you may be feeling very stuck. That you may be really hung up on this person and hoping that they're going to come back. Hoping that this is something that's destined to you know, come back around, um, but unfortunately, I, I feel for the majority of you, that's just not really the case. I feel like, for the most part, this is something that has run its course. And, you know, you may be wondering, like, well, what was the lesson? What was I supposed to learn? Um, you know, this is general, so it's hard to say exactly what that lesson is supposed to be for you. And um, I, I feel that part of the whole process is just figuring it out, you know, figuring out what the lesson is supposed to be. If somebody just tells you straight up, you know, you're supposed to learn this, it kind of takes away from the journey a little bit. But um, I feel for a lot of you, it may have something to do with attachments. Uh, 
you know, I, I would recommend reflecting and, and meditating on this connection, thinking about, you know, how it makes you feel. What kind of emotions did this connection bring up to the surface for you? What were the problems or conflicts within this relationship? What led to the two of you going your separate ways? You know, um, and through doing that, through thinking about those things, I feel like, you know, that, that will lead you to identifying your lesson, what it is you're supposed to release through this and what you're supposed to take away from it. I feel that you are on the right path here. Keep facing your true north. You are on the right path here. You are figuring things out, maybe slowly, but surely. Um, I think some of you maybe already had this feeling that you know, maybe this isn't quite what you thought it was and maybe you were looking for some confirmation. Um, this card, expect powerful change. This is the new moon card, uh, new moon eclipse specifically. This is new beginnings, new moon energy. It's, it's new, fresh energy coming into a situation. And this card in particular is very transformative. It's all about, you know, very significant change happening. And I feel that once you identify what you're meant to take away from this relationship and you know you meditate on that lesson and you really absorb it and internalize it i feel like you're going to come out of this a much wiser and stronger person and i feel like you know when when you do that and and also when you are able to release this connection, this this attachment that you may have to this person, I feel like that's going to open up a lot of space. It's going to create a lot of room for new energy to come into your life. Something new, something better. You know, if this person has has moved forward, if this person has walked away from this from from your relationship, there's a reason for that. <laughs> and I kind of feel like the universe is trying to protect you um, from a relationship that may have a bad outcome. Um, you know, a, a lot of times when we don't get something that we want, when, when something that we really are hoping to have, like, moves out of our reach, a lot of times that's spirit's way of actually protecting us from a bad outcome, protecting us from having our heart broken, you know, things like that. So group three, unfortunately, um, I, I feel that this, th there is some type of illusion going on here. Um, I feel like this connection probably is not quite what you have been thinking that it is. Okay, um, you do have a connection to this person, but it feels like it's something that is pretty much strictly karmic, okay? And if you're hoping that this person is going to come back, if you're feeling like, you know, they, they have to come back, this is something that's supposed to be, um, I just don't, I just don't really see that here. I don't really see that happening, unfortunately, at least not um, at least not in the foreseeable future. So, um, I know that this may not be what you guys were hoping to hear with this reading, but, um, this is the message that I have for you guys, group three, and I hope that it resonates. I hope that it gives you some insight. This is just general. So, you know, if something doesn't fit in your situation, don't try to make it fit. It's always possible that the roles are reversed as well. So if that stuff that I was talking about doesn't really sound like you, if it doesn't sound like, you know, your thought process on this situation, then, you know, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, 
that's what I have for you guys, group three. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I am wishing you guys all the best. I hope I see you next time. Bye. Okay, and lastly, group number four, let's find out if your connection to the person you're thinking of is real or an illusion. So we will start with your oracle cards, okay. First card, twin flames. All right. We also have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. We have leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. We have new moon in cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. You deserve love. Ask your angels. Never ending story reversed. And your tarot cards, we have the Page of Vessels, we have Two of Stones reversed, Two of Vessels, and the Knight of Stones. So, guys, <clears throat> um, right away, this is the Two of Cups. This is the Twin Flame card. You definitely have a soul level connection to this person. This is something that is quite real. This is something that is not just in your head. Um, okay, I, I get the impression here that um, you may be feeling kind of overwhelmed by this connection, which is understandable um, if this is a twin flame situation. Not to say that this is definitely a twin flame connection for every single person who chose this group, but um, regardless of, you know, whether it is or isn't, you still definitely have a strong bond with this person. There is still a soul level connection here. Um, anyway, I, I feel that you are somewhat overwhelmed with this connection. I feel like it is, I mean, I, I, I get the, I get the sense that you're a little bit stressed by it. Um, never ending story. This card is really about repetitive patterns, cycles, um, same thing happening over and over again, specifically negative patterns and cycles. Um, this can represent drama, this can represent unnecessary conflict. Um, in the reverse position, usually this is a message to, you know, uh, remove yourself from situations that are draining you, remove yourself from situations that are, you know, just negative uh, forces in your life, um, to cut yourself off from, you know, relationships that are not serving your highest good and specifically to not involve yourself with other people's drama or problems that don't really concern you. Um, that's the advice of this card when it's in the reverse position. Um, we also have here the leap card. It says, you go first, the universe will catch you. So this is pretty similar to the fool um, in the sense that it's about taking risks, taking a leap of faith. Uh, this card does imply to me, you know, um, like a, a new beginning, setting down a new path, embarking on some kind of new adventure, or just breaking out of your comfort zone. Um, the page of vessels, pages are the first of the court cards, so they do also have some, uh, uh, new, fresh kind of energy to them. A lot of times they represent things that are just starting out, that are in their early stages. And the Knight of Stones, this is kind of interesting because this card is usually about like slow but steady progress towards a goal. In the relationship context, it can represent, you know, offers of commitment, stability, dedication. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like, um, this may be a situation where, okay, this, this, this might not be totally applicable to every person who chose this group, but I feel like for a lot of you, 
there's been a lot of, I want to say, it, it almost feels like things maybe have been somewhat codependent between the two of you. I, I feel like this connection has been kind of consuming for you or for them or maybe for both of you to some extent. Um, things, it, it, it just feels like this is something that has really taken over your life in, in some ways. And I feel like you aren't, I feel like you aren't really happy about that necessarily. Um, I kind of get the sense that a, a lot of you are wanting to distance yourself a little bit. Um, and if that's the case, you know, these cards are saying, do that, do that. You know, um, if this connection is a, a, a great source of stress for you, if you don't feel like it's truly serving your highest good, or if you feel like it's taking away from other areas, aspects of your life that are important to you, you know, it's okay to step away. The reflection card is all about giving one another space, okay? And um, trusting that, you know, even even if you do choose to step away, that things will still work out in everyone's highest good, okay? Um, I feel like... Let's see. I, I feel like this person has not really been giving you what you need from them or, or, or what you even deserve from them. Um, I, I do get the sense that you possibly have actually been in a relationship with this person. Like there potentially has been a commitment here. Um, and, and I get that with the Knight of Stones and the Two of Cups as well. Um, the Page of Vessels can represent a love offer being made. And, um, you know, if, if that's the case, whatever the case, regardless of whether you actually have been in a relationship with this person or not, or if this is just, um, you know, somebody that you've been interested in, that you've just been kind of talking to, you know, casually involved with, whatever. I feel like they have not been giving you what you need from them. Like they've not been investing in the relationship. Things have been imbalanced. There has been, um, a, an unequal give and take. Things have not been totally reciprocal. Like somebody has been putting forth a lot more effort than the other person. And I feel like the person who's doing most of the work is probably you. And, um, I just, mm, <laughs> I, I feel like you have been, um, meditating, maybe praying, you know, asking your guides, asking God, the universe for help with this situation, because I feel like a lot of you would like to step back from it. Like you, you would like to step away, maybe even move forward. Even though you do recognize that this is a significant connection, I think most of you do. You do recognize that this is significant. You do recognize that this is like a soulmate, basically. I feel f a, a lot of you don't necessarily want this, at least not right now. And that's valid, okay? That's valid, particularly if the person in question is not giving you anything in return. If they are just taking and taking and taking and giving you nothing back, it's totally understandable to want to step away from this relationship. And I feel like that's probably what a lot of you are, are wanting to do here. I actually feel like there may be some of you who are not convinced that this is a soul connection, which is interesting. I feel like some of you are not convinced that this is a soul connection you or or you don't want to accept it. Um, maybe you have a feeling that it is, but you don't you, you don't really want to embrace that. You don't want to accept it for what it is. And um, this card over here, New Moon in Cancer, um, this card, you know, obviously has a connection to family, loved ones, you know, the people that are close to us. It also can relate to, you know, self-care, doing what's best for you, putting, putting your interests first. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes we have to be kind of selfish um, in our relationships, selfish, you know, with our time, because 
you know, particularly in situations where we are putting so much of ourselves into something and getting very little in return, which, like I said, I, I, I get the sense that that's probably what's going on here for a lot of you. Um, because this card is saying to me that you deserve more than what you're being given. You deserve more than what you're being given. And... It's okay to demand more from this person. And if they're still not willing to give you that, if they're still not willing to put more, put forth a greater amount of effort, then don't be afraid to just take that leap and step away. Don't be afraid to just extract yourself. I think... <sighs> I feel for a number of you, your person is um, maybe going through a lot in their life. They they might have a lot of um, a lot of personal issues or, or conflicts happening that you potentially have kind of become involved in, and I. I feel that you do have love for this person. I feel like you do have fondness for this person. You do have a soft spot for them. But a lot of you are just, you know, you're, you're looking at this from a very rational, mature, responsible point of view. And that's a good thing, okay? I feel like most of you, you know, you've taken the rose-tinted glasses off. You've thrown them in the garbage. And you're just trying to be real about this situation. Soulmate or not. Twin flame or no twin flame, this is not meeting your needs. And so I think, I think because many of you feel that this is a soulmate or a twin flame, you may be a little bit torn about just walking away. And if that's the case, you know, again, these cards are saying, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about it. Um, this person seems to have a lot of work that they need to do within themselves um, before they're really going to be ready to um, give you what you need, to give you what you're looking for in, the, in a relationship. Um, this person seems to not be your ideal partner, at least not yet. And so they still have work to do to get to that point. So don't feel bad about letting them go so that they can go and do that work so that they can go and become a better person, a better partner. And, you know, maybe in the future you will reconnect. And I do feel that more than likely you will reconnect in the future, but it could be sometime down the road. Okay. And actually I'm getting for some of you, you maybe already have walked away from this person but you're still getting signs, like you're still seeing signs, synchronicities, things that remind you of this connection. And you're wondering like, why? Why is that? Should I, did I make a mistake? Should I not have walked away? Um, I, I don't think that you should uh, interpret these signs as, you know, you've made a mistake. I think, I think spirit is probably giving you these signs and showing you these synchronicities to tell you that you are on the right path. Typically, that's what signs and synchronicities indicate, that they, they tell you that you're on the right path, you're going in the right direction. Um, so, uh, group four, um, this is turning out to be uh, kind of a short reading, um, but, you know, it's 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 fairly straightforward. I, I feel that... Um, you do have a, you do have a soul connection with this person and it's not, you're not crazy. I feel like a lot of you need to hear that. You're not crazy and you, you're not making bad choices. Okay. Um, so whatever's going on, whatever you're feeling insecure about, know that you're not crazy and you're not making bad choices. You're doing what's best for yourself. Um, Okay, so uh, group four, that's really all that I'm getting for you right now. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Turned out to be a little bit shorter than the other readings, but um, for some reason, the, the last reading usually ends up being 
going by much faster for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope that this gave you some insight. Um, this is general, so take what applies to you. Leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. And uh, I appreciate you joining me today. I uh, hope I see you next time, guys. Bye.